Everybody's got a script, right? Yes. We could use two more people. Should, okay. should I read this little thing for Carrie? Because I'm in my mid-20s, actually. You can read that, okay? I think that you, would make the most sense. Okay, do you want to start that? That's at the bottom of page 8. Oh, no, that's Libby Ruth. That's the wrong That's page, page 7, where Carrie is. Yeah. I was reading it over, and it just sounds really funny. Okay, yeah, it is funny. So, go ahead, you start reading. Okay. And it's pronounced Kari. Okay. Like C-A-R-E, but you don't have to say that. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? I'd hate for y'all to miss my first official moment as a missus. <laughs> On behalf of myself and Todd, my husband. Dang, I like the sound of that. Oh, I want to thank all of you for being here on this wonderful day. We've all come together in this beautiful setting to celebrate love. And speaking of which, I want to thank my Aunt Viola, who was so sweet to reduce the restraining order against Uncle Huel to 30 feet so he could also be in this room with us today. That was just so generous of... Uncle Huel, get back. You hug that wall. We are not going to have a repeat of the ugly mess you made of Easter Sunday. That's better. Now, wasn't that ceremony just precious? And that little Brandon is a trooper, four years old, and his very first time to be a ring bearer. Shoot, under that kind of pressure, I would have thrown up too. But he's fine now, and the photographer promised to delete all those pictures. And Todd and I absolutely insist on picking up the dry cleaning bill for everyone who was seated at the end of row four. Oh, and those doves, they were awesome. The image of them being released and soaring into the sky the moment Todd and I kissed will always stay with me. Even though it might have ended better if someone had remembered today is the first day of hunting season. And I've been assured our ears will stop ringing from the gunfire before the first dance. I'm not much of a drinker, but I do like this. <laughs> now, I have some people to thank. Daddy, of course, for his love and generosity, and my mom and her best friends, my godmothers for teaching me everything they know about how to survive at the big day. Actually, at one of their weddings, six, maybe seven years ago, right here at Laurelton Oaks, I learned lesson number one, expect the unexpected. There's an old saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Well, I found out that day, if you really want to make him double over and howl, tell him your wedding plans. Thank you. Okay, let's go down to Libby Ruth. Uh, Jocelyn, do you want to read that? Sure. Oh, promise me that someday you and I will take our love together to some sky. Oh, promise me. Oh, promise me. Uh, we need a sedalia then. Debbie, right? You want to read that, Debbie, please? Sure. <laughs> Libby Ruth, you're not to squat on your enthusiasm, darling, but I've got a reception half full of delicate crystal. You hit any more jam hacker note like that, and our guests will be sipping champagne out of Dixie cups. Sorry, I was singing. Watch and I think it was a okay. super, there's a very good I'm sorry, there. Preston always tells me I sound like a herd of cats fighting over a bagpipe, but I get carried away. That's just me. Hopeless romantic. Look, I know this wedding came out of the blue. How can I ever thank you for squeezing Monette in this afternoon? Well, other than swearing, not to sing anymore, absolutely nothing. Here in Laurelton Oaks, we're flexible. It comes from decades of experience hosting elegant celebrations for a refined clientele. Now, Shelly, you want to read my name? Sure. I am going to find those plastic tweezers, even if I have to tear up the joint and cold cock everyone in the room to do it. Which is why we appreciate him. Do I have an accent? Uh, you can, I you can do it. a little southern if yep. you want. Make, okay. just, just slow it up. Don't it. worry about it. If you do it and do it bad, it's not good. So just, just talk with a little bit of a draw. Which is why we appreciate you making an exception for us. That's good. I just caught sight of my butt in that full-length mirror. Look at it. You could show Almanac's movies on this thing. A really big exception. Listen, Sedalia, truth is, Monette's married a younger man, and she's feeling a little pressured. 
She told me she's only got half an hour to lose 15 pounds. Into that end, I may need your help squeezing her into that third pair of spanks. You know, there is one thing I find curious. In all my years of doing this, I found that most of my, shall we say, mature brides, particularly those who've made that long walk before, tend to go for simply wedding ceremonies with maybe just one attendant, if any. I was surprised your friends chose to have three. Yes. I'm sure it does seem a little odd, but see, we were all best friends as kids and we made a promise that we'd be in each other's weddings no matter what. And we did that. But about 10 years ago when Monette married the second time, she asked us to stand up for her again and we did again and this time well i think she's starting to look on this as kind of a tradition i see that's nice a little weird but nice yeah we think so too monette's a little intense today but she always is right before she vows to love some guy forever don't worry Lizzie ruth i've seen it all nervous brides Nauseous brides, blushing brides, belligerent brides, and brides having contractions three minutes apart. I can handle in intensity. <laughs> and should this tradition continue, you might want to pass this info along to your friend. Here at the Oaks, we offer a customer loyalty discount in the event the need arises for any future nuptials. What are you insinuating, Ms. Ellicott? That just because I struck out with two previous husbands, I might not be able to hang on to number three? What have you said to her, Lily Ruth? Because I'm here to tell you, marrying right out of high school can't be held against me. It was six of the best weeks of my life that Joe Trey violated his parole. And of course, my marriage to Vince bit the dust when I found out he'd been putting on my dresses and hitting the clubs every time I went out. <laughs> 